Coming up with story ideas is always hard, but there are ways to make the process much easier and get over the writer's block many people experience. The problem is that when facing an empty white page, people often freak out and blank. That's because the thought that you can do anything is scary and will often push you into doing nothing. This is why when I need to come up with ideas, I like to use the restriction method. The restriction method is exactly what it sounds like. People need restrictions. They love them. The restriction method in a nutshell is draw a tree using only triangles will encourage more action and creativity than draw a tree. When you restrict yourself in the creative process, you can find things you would have never found otherwise. Let me show you how I use this method when I came up with the idea for my film Lift Up. Since I knew I would be doing this movie all by myself, I knew I had to have restrictions. So I decided to write them down. The movie will only have two main characters. It will take place in one location. It will be under a minute. Now, just by setting up these rules for myself, I already have a stronger starting point than most people have. But I took it a step further. Since I'm not so good with 3D modeling, I decided to restrict myself even more. I've decided that my main character will be a ball and a cube. No eyes, no legs, or arms. Not only would that make my 3D modeling and rigging process much easier, but it will also be an amazing challenge as an animator to bring life into such basic shapes. So I had all the rules set up. Now I had to come up with the actual story. I started thinking and breaking down the elements in order to build a story. What's the main difference between a ball and a cube? Well, one of them is round and the other is flat. In what case would those differences make a difference? The first thing that came to me was walking. If you don't have any legs or arms, it would be a lot easier to move around as a ball rather than a cube. So I already had a conflict between the characters. A cube who is slowly trying to walk down a path and an arrogant ball zooming around showing off while the cube is struggling. That's a great start. I have established a conflict between the two characters and found an interesting dynamic. But then I had to find a twist. Not a shocking twist, but something that changes things around. I asked myself, in what case would the cube have the advantage over the ball? The answer was clear, a slope. In a downhill slope, the ball would roll quickly, but going up the hill would be harder. So I had a ball and a cube walking down a long road, and while the cube is struggling to move around, the ball is rolling around freely and mocking the cube. When they reach a hill, the cube climbs easily, since it has flat sides, but the ball cannot get enough momentum to follow. Just like that, I had a story that I would never have thought about if I did not restrict myself in the process. So take that as a challenge when you're making your next short and think about the ways you can restrict your own story. And you'll see that you might find things you would have missed otherwise. Thanks for watching.